Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge. Today is day 60 of the 4.0 Challenge. Mega Camp is done, and with it came several amazing releases. We talked about a few of those yesterday. Uh, this week, I want to talk about uh, some upcoming ones that have, well, they've been released, and yet they do take a little bit of groundwork to create, and those are the Opportunity Client Update emails. So to build that out, we need to start off in Opportunities, and we have to create custom checklists for our stages before we can actually get into the Opportunities. So uh, when we come into any one of the three pipelines, we'll see five phases per pipeline. And as we dive into any one of those five phases, we'll then see the various stages within each one of those phases. So essentially right now I'm in my listings pipeline. I'm in my active phase and you can see that I have several stages. So I've created one for preparing the listing, publishing the listing, showing in open houses, negotiations, even withdrawn or temporarily off market, and then the legacy stage from bringing in documents from Dotloop. So in order to create the client update emails, I first have to have actual stage checklists. And I create those by coming up to edit stages. So I'm gonna click on edit stages. And if you've never done this before, on this screen, your checklist will say zero out of zero items, zero slash zero items. To add checklist items to any of these stages, you're just gonna click on that zero of zero or zero of whatever you have. And you'll then have the ability to start adding checklist items. So I can click on add item here, and this would be test 66 day challenge item. And I can click on save. That will create that item. Uh, if I've spelled something wrong or I don't like the way that is, I can come into the three dots and I can actually delete it. And they'll say, are you sure? Or I could actually go in and edit it instead and just put new test 60 day challenge, 66 day challenge, right? So you can come in and edit, create, delete any of these checklist items. You can actually also click on the six little dots and you can reorder these items as well. So I can go through and basically create a series of checklist items that need to be completed during each stage of each phase of my pipeline. Now, many of us have been using checklists for several years, and yet if you're a newer agent, this may take some time. Obviously, you've got three different pipelines, five different phases, multiple stages per phase, multiple checklist items per stage. It can take a while to build this out, but just be consistent about it. My recommendation is starting with your listing pipeline, go backwards to forward, meaning start with your under contract listings and then your active listings go into appointments and then maybe closing and cultivate at the end and then repeat for each one of your pipelines. Um, once you have all of these items in, then we can dive into the client update portion, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. So today, basically just the ability to come in to any one of our uh, phases within our pipeline. So here's all of our phases, the five phases, click on any one name and then click on edit stages from there. The ability to change stage names by clicking on the pencil. I can also change their probability of closing while at that stage. Then most importantly though, I wanna make sure that I am adding checklist items to each one of these custom um, stages so that I could then mark them as you know follow-up items or completed update items for my clients and we'll go over that tomorrow. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Monday, staying dry and safe, especially here on the Texas coast. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.